Hey y'all, Aragon Angie with Aragon Web. I've got my Umarex Air Javelin here. This is a CO2 powered arrow gun. So I checked them out with the sights that come with it, a fixed front blade sight and an adjustable rear peephole sight. They were all right, but I said, let me get a red dot sight on this thing. So what I have on here is the Hawk Vantage. This one is the one by 30 Weaver Rail um, red dot sight. It has the um, wind um, and elevation adjustment. With the red dot sight, it made a huge difference. Safety's on. Uncocked. Let's put the arrow in. Wait, can you make sure you push it all the way in? You'll feel it click twice or hear it, one of the two or both. And that's pretty much it. Now we're going to cock it, take the safety off, and it's so easy to cock, guys. Super easy to cock. Safety is a little hard to push. Um, but it's not, oh, I should probably turn my red dot side on too from Hawk. And let's see where she's shooting. I just put a new um, cartridge CO2 in and I had sighted it in with the old cartridge that was in it. And it, it shot pretty good at first and then it started dropping. So I'm gonna just shoot for the middle and see where it hits. A little high and Right, but not bad. I think that one was a little low. Pretty co close to bullseye there. Let me go gather my arrows and we'll do it again. Nothing like reusable ammo, guys. This is awesome. Umarex claims max velocity on this, 300 feet per second with 170 grain arrow. And over my chronograph, I was getting uh, 322 feet per second was my highest. It was a 313 average though. It was pretty dang consistent. I was absolutely impressed with that. So I, both in velocity and foot pounds of energy, I actually got higher than what Umarex claims. They also accept the um, broadheads, um, the interlock blood bug threes. You can get those and Umarex also sells those and just attach them on the end and go take yourself a small pig. I know um, Aiden Hansen has. You can, I mean, small to medium game guys, I wouldn't go, I myself would not go try to take a deer with this. One thing, the farther away from the animal that you are and the slower that your um, projectile is moving, the more of a chance they have to jump the shot. Now this is not super, super mouse fart quiet. I got that from Rick. It actually, like I said, it's, it's like hitting a nail with a hammer. So it is a little loud. So if, you're, if the game that you're hunting hears that, the farther away from them you are, the more chance they have of jumping the shot. So I would say 25, 35 yards is the max distance that I would hunt with this. So it's putting off plenty of power to take game and it is, like you'll see in just a minute, absolutely accurate enough to take it as well. But you get about 27 to 30 good, accurate, powerful shots with 188 gram of CO2. I'm actually going to bring it to the right some 
because it is shooting left. As far as elevation, I am not quite sure yet because it is a new thing of CO2. So the first shot was a little high. The next two were a little lower than that. So I'm gonna leave it where it is. And go left. Fourth shot. 312. I don't know, it looks like that hit low. I can't tell, for, oh, nope. I think that was a bullseye. It's kind of hard to see the arrows from here. I'm really surprised at how smooth and easy it is to cock, guys. Sweet. I'm excited about seeing how these ones are grouping because it looks like they're doing pretty awesome. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Two right next to each other at the bowl. One was a little low, but beautiful. Some guns I like a heavier trigger on because there's less of a chance that you will pull it unintentionally. So this one's got a little bit of a heavy trigger. It's not a deal breaker. It's not real heavy. I would say maybe three to four pound trigger. Uh, not, not much more or less than that. For hunting and high-powered air guns, high-powered guns, sometimes I prefer a heavier trigger because once you pull it, there's no taking it back. Maybe that one's a little low. Let my CO2 rest for a brief moment because I think that if you take shot after shot, you don't get as good of accuracy as you do if you let the CO2 rest for just a moment, and that's probably long enough, so let's see what it does this time. This time I'm gonna go for the bottom left bowl. And I think that's pretty much the bottom bowl right there. The CO2, if you shoot shot back to back to back, I believe, this is my theory, that it doesn't pack as much of a punch. It doesn't put out as much CO2 as if it does if you let it rest between shots. Just a few seconds, not a long time. But see how the first shot, super accurate. Second shot, a little low. Third shot, pretty dang accurate. If I shot at the same target, it would have been right next to the other arrow. So, sweetness. wondering if that might be what is affecting its accuracy. 313. Well, that one was a little low. That one's a little low too. The AR stock. This is adjustable for different size shooters. I thought that was a really great option. And then it even has a rubber butt pad. This is plastic, but it's kind of a cool touch to have a rubber butt pad. We don't like slippery stocks. <laughs> um, it has the M-lock rails on the side oh, and, it, and the bolt. The bolt is ambidextrous. You can actually switch it from the right side to the left side, whichever side is more comfortable for you. So it's really kind of, in some senses, a personalizable gun a personalizable arrow gun just for you. So it is synthetic, like I said, it's kind of it's kind of plasticky, which is one reason why it's so light. You got to sometimes you got to give things up to get things. You have a super inexpensive, it's like 170 bucks, a super inexpensive arrow gun that is super light that you can take out without really wearing yourself out. So I believe the first two shots, guys, are right next to each other. 
That is super, super sweet. This, guys, if I have another coyote coming in the yard, I think I'm gonna slap my ATN on here and see what I can do to it. I think it'd be an awesome little backyard pester. Here we go, third shot. No, I think I pulled that one a little bit. Pulled it to the left. Let's go check it out. Okay, so for the tur first two shots, they did shoot a little low. I was aiming for center. They shot a little low. Um, the last shot, I knew I pulled it to the, to the left. So that's not bad at all. Now noise, let's talk about the noise. This, I would say it's backyard friendly. It just depends on where your backyard is located. Um, my backyard, absolutely fine. It really is to me no louder than um, maybe hammering a nail. So it's really not that loud. Oh, a little low. Yeah, I think I'm getting low on CO2. I guess that's going to be it for today. I have no more 88 gram CO2 cartridges, guys. I would really love to be out here shooting this some more because it is so much fun. I wanted to shoot like apples and stuff and, and make things kind of explode a little bit, but CO2, I'm out. I'll have to get more and bring you guys more on the Umarex Air Javelin Sweet Arrow Gun. Let's go inside and talk a little bit more about this one. If you're not a CO2 fan, or maybe you're looking for one of these that would take a deer confidently, this thing has a big brother. Go check out the Umarex Air Saber. That one is a PCP and is a good bit more powerful. It also is suitable all year round. It is not weather picky like CO2 is. So if you're looking for something that is a bit more powerful, doesn't use CO2, use compressed air instead, Go check out the Umarex Air Saber at www.umarexusa.com. I mean, I am super pleased with this. I had a blast shooting my archery bag out there, and there was several times where I had arrows just like this, stacked on top of each other, side by side. I mean, accurate and definitely would be a reliable, small to medium game hunter. A small coyote? <laughs> oh yeah, I would definitely try this with that. What about armadillos? I wonder if that would pierce an armadillo. What do you think? If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button to stay informed. For more air gun reviews, backyard shooting, hunting footage, and just plain air gun fun, don't forget to stop by our other channels as well. Well, that's it for today, guys. I'm Air Gun Angie with Air Gun Web. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Check it out guys. Oh my gosh. Three arrows right there. Two of them right on top of each other. That is total sweetness. Absolutely sweetness from Umarex.